is Pam Dennison here. We're going to talk about a chin rest, and Dreamer is going to be your demo dog for the day. And a chin rest, just so you know what it looks like. Chin. Of course, now she's not going to do it. Do her chin. She's totally not going to do it. Okay. To make this go a little faster, also normally she'll do it um, on the floor. Chin. Sweetheart. Chin. Thank you. Good girl. All right. Now she's doing it. Of course, she's doing it because there's a cookie and because she's on the table. She doesn't, she's, oh, you know, she's fine for grooming, but, you know, it's not her favorite thing. Chin. Yes. Good girl. So that is a chin rest. Chin. I don't want the foot. I want the chin. Ma'am. Dreamer. We're not chafing. Chin. Good. Very good. So what you can do to teach that. Well, actually, first I'll talk about what the uses are for it, and then we can talk about um, how to train it. So basically, you can use it for grooming. You can use it for getting the eye gobbers out of their map of their eyes. You can use it for checking their ears. You can use it for teeth cleaning. You can use it for uh, grooming where it's a chin. Stay, and then tell them to stay, and then very gently pick up a foot. And then you can, you know, um, uh, clip all the nails. Okay. I hope I'm not blocking too much, but you get the idea. Um, so that's what you would do. So that is, you can use a chin rest for grooming, vet visits. Um, you can use it for tricks. You can use it for, I don't know, I, whatever you can think of. Um, so if you can think of some other ideas that we could use for a chin rest, you know, let me know in the comments. Okay, so what you're going to do to train that, you have some treats in your hand, and then you have your empty hand, so you put it here, and then, and you see how I'm luring her? So my hand is sideways, because this is shape, okay, good, good girl, thank you, and you want, and this is a nose target here. And this is a chin, chin. So to train it, you have, you know, letting her nibble, you put your hand sideways, and then you're just going to lure the dog's head down. Good. And you just click and treat that. Good. And good. Good, okay. So you do that a bunch of times. When the dog is doing it pretty good, I'm going to show you how to, oops, move the camera the wrong way. Um, so then what you do is you put your hand a little bit farther. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. So you put your hand a little bit, good, a little bit farther and bring it down. And you still click that, so we're not naming it yet. Good. And then you can just, after, you know, a couple reps, you just hold your hand there. And then, see how my hand is here? I'm not bringing it, I don't know if you can see it. This is a very hard, awkward position. But I'm not bringing my hand down. I'm just, I have my hand here, it's over here, and I'm just waiting for her to offer the behavior. Let me get it here. <laughs> there we go, good girl, stay. So all I would need is you falling off the gurney table. So I'm just going to let her offer the behavior. And a lot of people, they tend to they tend to try to rush it. Now, I didn't have to wait that long. It was only a couple seconds. But so many people, can you just stay? Because you're going to fall off, and that will be terrible. Stay. Um, they don't give the dog time to think. So what they do is they go like this. See how I touched her? Don't touch your dog. Let your dog touch you. Remember the pattern? There you go, good girl. So then, once they start offering it on their own, without you doing a lure, stay, stay, just be cool, pull your guts. I don't want your foot, thank you. Good. 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 So now she's offering it. She's like, give me the hand, give me the hand.
So I'm going to move her back a little bit. Could you back up a little bit, sweetheart? Could you back? There we go. Perfect. Right there. Yep, that's good. Good. Jim. So now, when the dog gives you the behavior, you're going to say the word Jim or whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. Jim. So you let the dog do it. Jim. Good. You let the dog do it. Jim. Okay. Jim. Good. Okay. So that's how you teach a chin target. Now, if you've got a second person, it's a little easier. Chin. Oh, so then, okay. So you've named it. Now you're going to start to say the word before the behavior. Chin. Good. So you pair it a bunch of times, and a bunch is not three. A bunch is 10, 15, 20 times. And then you're going to start saying um, uh, the word before the behavior. Chin. Then you can do, Jim, stay. Good. So you start working on a stay. Because then you can start working. Here, let me see if I can do it this way. Jim, good. Stay. I have to get on the other side. Stay. Good. So you see, now I'm able to move here and then stay. But then if you have a second person, while you lift up a foot, they can be feeding. Lift up a foot, feed. Jim, stay. Okay, and then you can start to clip, you know, toenails or anything. So I started doing this, oh God, before it became popular. Years ago, uh, my dog Bo, when I got him as a uh, puppy, he had pink eye when I first got him. So here I am wrestling this four month old baby to the ground, trying to put eye drops in his eyes. And then after 10 minutes of that, I'm like, you know, how stupid am I? I'm a dog trainer for God's sakes. I can train this. So what you're going to do is when you do the chin rest, wait there, could you move please? Thank you. So then you can do, and I'm going to do this without food because it's a little, oops, wrong way, a little too complicated. And I didn't clear this enough for me to work, but that's all right. We'll do the best we can. So what I did with him took one 15 minute session. Never had a problem ever. Um, chin. Yes, good girl. Then you use your stay. You use your finger. Don't use, you know, if you have to scissor around your dog's eyes or ears or, you know, a beard or whatever. Just and then you click and then treat. And then click and then treat. Now when you have when you're doing this, though, have no food in your hand. Okay? You can always have it like I have it like right here. So, good. You can always, you know, a little bit slower, but that's all right. You don't want food in your hands. And then you go from this angle, and then this angle, and then this angle. You know, all these different angles, because you never know when you're going to need to put eye drops in your dog's eyes. So, you can do that. You can do, if they, if they have problems looking in their ears, you know, again, you break it down into small pieces and then your dog is going to be fine with all of it. But if you try to force them to uh, into this, they're not going to be happy, and you're going to end up having a problem. And hang on one second. Let me just, I just want to put her down. So very, very important when you're doing this, um, go slow, take your time, um, don't try to, um, don't try to rush the process because the more you rush it, the worse it's going to get. Okay. And then you're going to have a dog that fights you. And I just want to talk a little bit. I mean, some people may not like this, but you know, Hey, it's my live on Facebook. I can say what the hell I want. Of course, now it's going to go all over the universe, but it's really true. You want to be very, very careful at the vet and the groomer because I always tell people because we teach this you know I teach this in my puppy class and in my beginners class and with a lot of dogs that takes pride that take privates they have a lot of um, touching issues and problems with the vet it's not the vet or the groomers job to teach your dog to accept all of this type of handling that's your job okay their job is to get their job done as quickly as possible 
Sometimes that includes traumatizing your dog. Okay, I've seen it. Um, I've seen dogs that have been completely traumatized after going to the vet and the groomer, and then it takes weeks and weeks and weeks to fix it. So take your time. The minute you get your rescue dog, the minute you get your puppy, start doing this. Get a second person help because puppies are very wiggly. Um, do just a minute or two. Don't try to go for half an hour session. Just break it down um, into small pieces. And I do have, no, I don't have it here. I don't feel like running to the other room. I will. Don't go away. I'm here. I'm still here. I'm still here. Look out of the way, dogs. Okay, good. All right. So, in this book, you can train your dog, mastering the art and science of modern dog training. Winner of a Maxwell Award for best training DV, uh, best training book. I have an entire chapter. Um, I call it animal husbandry, um, for lack of another word, rather than handling. So, animal husbandry, chapter seven. It's a whole big chapter with pictures, lots and lots of pictures of all different types of holds. Now, this is also very good if you are, um, let's say you're trying to train uh, a breed dog for breed handling. Well, guess what? You need it too. You want a nice stand stay while somebody's touching the dog, going over the dog. I don't think they do... Um, I don't think they do tails anymore, um, although maybe, no, I'm sure they do. That's, I was thinking of utility, never mind. Um, but you know, they go over the whole dog, they check the, the, the bite, they do all this stuff while your dog should be, you know, standing still. And you don't want to force them into accepting it, you wanna teach them to accept it, okay? So that's a chin rest. I mean, a lot of people do it for a trick, um, I don't know if we can do it here. Uh, no, I'd have to move furniture. Yeah, I can do it. Come here. Hey, Dreamer. Here, Dreamer. Chin. Yeah, chin. Well, she's not doing it now. But you can do, like, you know, if you've watched TV, you know, watch the dogs. You know, you watch the movies, you watch the TV, you watch whatever, and you're seeing dogs in there. Look at what they do. A lot of times, you know, like, you know, they'll, they'll put their head on somebody's knee. You need that for um, therapy dog too, you know, so somebody can be petting the dog and you just, you know, you just cue a, uh, a chin target, you know, on a, uh, on a body part, you know, chin, stay, boom, you're done. Um, you can, uh, a lot of times they'll have like um, the, the arm of a chair or a sofa and the dog's supposed to come up and put their chin and look at the owner, you know, the actor. And that's another thing that you can do. So a lot of different things that you can do. I'm just checking to see if anyone, um, okay, good. So um, yeah, if you have any other, um, any other ideas for using a chin rest, please mention it in the comments. But I teach my dogs this all the time as part of what I call animal husbandry. And um, so I will see you next week. I'll probably do next Friday. Don't know what topic I'm going to do yet, but I'll come up with something. And uh, thank you, uh, Patty, for coming up with the idea for chin rest. All right. I'll see you next week. Take care.